Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Huddy here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are going through Call of Duty Modern War 3's campaign. This of course was developed by Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer Games, published by Activision and would cost you a pretty penny to grab but it has been released on Game Pass although at the moment it is only Modern Warfare 3 that is on the old GNP. Now, is there any need for an introduction? It's Call of Duty, bruh. You shoot stuff, you blow up the bad guys and get some achievements in the process. The game looks bloody lovely, though. As for the achievements in this one, specifically in the campaign again, there's more or less one miscellaneous achievement or trophy tied to that level. Sometimes there's even more than one. And there are now six free open map levels, and that's where we will be grabbing all items, weapons, armaments, vest upgrades, etc. on said levels. There is also apparently a trick you can do to beat it on Veteran as well. You can play it on Recruit, and just as the mission is about to end, go ahead and switch it to Veteran. Although I didn't actually test that through this playthrough, so take that with a pinch of salt, just in case. Uh, what this video is, though, is basically a chronological order video. So, rather than a 100% walkthrough guide, I'm going to show you each level, how to get... Uh, how to get every achievement and collectible in order. Uh, and obviously you're looking at a good few hours to do the campaign anyway. So, with that being said then, let's do it! And level 1 is going to be Operation 6 to 7. This is where we're going to get our first miscellaneous achievement. So, as you will be playing through the level, we're just coming up to the sort of introduction uh, first of all. Obviously, you've played first person shooters before, even if you haven't played many Call of Duties. Left trigger to aim, right trigger to shoot, right bumper to throw your grenades and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to get these achievements, probably easier to play it on Recruit, but of course you can do it on Veteran as well. So, as we get through the first level, you're going to come through this air vent. Now, the first achievement that we're going to do, after we open it up and the lights go dim, we need to kill 12 enemies while descending. So, you basically have to um, shoot the bad guys pretty much before your teammates do. If you think that you haven't shot enough, you can reload the last checkpoint and it starts you from the uh, level above. So that comes in pretty much handy. But the first two are, as soon as we can toggle our light on, the first two are gonna be directly to your left, just going up the stairs. So as quick as you can, there's the first two. So shoot them and that'll be two already. So start descending and there's going to be a, another two coming straight in front of you. So there's the first one. And there's going to be some coming from the right-hand side as well. So there you go, this checkpoint reached. So again, if you don't think you've uh, killed enough, quickly reload your last checkpoint and you'll just start from the floor above. As we head down, there's another few guards here. There's three to take care of. Again, I did uh, end up missing one. That's fine. There is another one as well. Uh, just be careful. Try not to shoot the prisoner. Um, there will be another one on the left to... Uh, grappling with another prisoner so just shoot this guy as well and then that should be another couple so as we start descending down they already know that we they are come we are coming <gasps> uh, no uh, but they're going to be coming from the right this time so shoot the first guy there and then over on the right is where they're going to be coming from straight from the doorway i uh, got kind of lucky that i didn't uh, explode and die there's another one who for some reason ah oh, damn i did actually miss him uh, which is why you're going to see me reload the last checkpoint because uh, that was a pain. So there you go. So as I said, this is uh, we we always start then from the floor above. Uh, so the checkpoint uh, system for this bit is very generally pretty handy. So again, I I only wanted to show you the reload last checkpoint just to see uh, where where we come from uh, and sort of where you start again. So. So if you feel, like I said, you haven't done enough, or you haven't shot enough people, just go ahead, reload it, and then uh, try it again. There will be at least four on that level there. And then as we head down, there's going to be a bunch of them with riot shields. So what we need to do is not go all the way down, but sort of hover above, sort of right there, and then you're able to shoot all four. You should be able to shoot all four of them without any issues, because if you go down too far, they'll turn around, and you won't be able to get them killed. But... That is where you should unlock the achievement anyway. So, we're on to the next level now, Precious Cargo. Now, obviously what I've done is I've taken out uh, quite a few of the enemies just to start off, so it might be worth just doing that. But effectively, you're going to start the mission exactly where I did. You're going to go forward and you're going to see this container. 
you're going to head into the container. And first of all, um, there's a couple of armor plates you can grab first. Um, and there's a couple of supply boxes. So there's the first supply box right there, the silenced WSP swarm. And there is another supply box here, the uh, MTZ556. So these are the levels then that are the sort of the open free world ones where we're going to be collecting uh, some weapons and items. So make sure to grab the parachute here as well because uh, we're going to get a couple of miscellaneous achievements as well. So grab the parachute and then what we're going to do, uh, if you press, you can press the select button. I'll always call it the select button to have a look at the map and you basically need to go to the bottom right corner of this map we're going to be going in ahead and grabbing the floater achievement so once you've taken care of all the enemies this is the building that you uh, are going to be needing to float across with your parachute so head to the right and you can see this crane looks crane horrific right well so it does so you're going to head up the ladder or head up these steps the ladder yeah laddery steps they'll do and then as soon as you get all um, I hope you're not afraid of heights, otherwise you ain't getting this achievement. Um, but nah, you should be fine. Right, so what we're going to do is go backwards some, just to give yourself a little run and jump. Immediately as you jump, quickly as you can, press the A button. So you need to immediately, as soon as you jump, press the A button now. And then you should be able to land on the roof immediately in front of you. And that is what will unlock the floater achievement. And that is what we are... Uh, yep, yeah, so that's what we are good to do. Okay, so uh, what we'll do now, um, I've actually gone back to the start. So we're going to start now collecting the weapons and items that are in this level. Of course, we've already collected the first two, but I am back at the beginning. So it's literally just a straight line from where we just were getting the floater achievement from the building. So from the first container, take a direct right into this next container. You will have to open it up. And then what you're going to find in here then is the heartbeat center and the mosquito drone. These are what are called armaments and you need to collect basically everyone and use them once. So to use an armament, um, you need to press the right button. You don't actually have to pick up the items or the weapons if you don't want to, just as long as you found them. Um, but in order to get the armament achievement, you need to use everyone at least once. So this is the first one, the mosquito drone. So again, like I said, once we picked it up, we will press the right trigger. And then just press the right uh, right trigger there. Again, you can keep it if you want and have a little look, but there's it's better just to get it out of the way. So head to the back of the container and then continue pushing more backwards. And then what you're going to do, we're going to jump up and we are going to grab the silenced expedite 12. There's another mosquito drone there, but of course we've already used one. And there is our first out of two additional vest armor upgrade suits. And we need to collect at least two in every level. So once we've grabbed the shotgun, the silenced expedite, we're going to drop down, head to the uh, sort of right, uh, but continue pushing on to the right. And again, the cranes will always be moving, but you're going to have a look at this building right here. So it's basically where we just come out of the containers. Uh, always have a look, be a lookout on, uh, for some enemies. But once we climb up the ladder, this is where we are going to get the Peeler launcher. The Pilo Res. And again, you can. Uh, there's always a good couple of items ar around and stuff as well. You can refill your ammo and all of that good chunky stuff. Uh, but make sure to pick up the Peeler rocket launcher. Pretty decent for some rice, that one. Some pilai rice. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop straight down to the right, and we're going to head into the building that we were just on top of the roof. Immediately on your right, then, is the 556 Icarus. And then if we turn directly around, staying in the same room, just the opposite side, you can already see the next um, uh, box, which has the snapshot pulse in it. So there you go. So now you should already be, if you uh, press the start button, by the way, it'll tell you how many weapons and items that you've got through the level. So you should already be on seven. Right, head through the door. And again, there may be a couple of enemies about. So, you know, careful your nips and everything. Um, we are going to head to the right. We're going to go up on this crane. Now, again, like I said, these cranes do move. So it may be in a little, uh, it may be a little bit further up the map. But effectively, what we're going to be doing now is going back onto the same building of where we got the floater achievement. So we are going to need to go across this little uh, little handy pipeline. Everything's always handy in a video game, isn't it? And then, of course, make sure to get a running jump, press the A button and whack your parachute out. 
and get straight over. So if you didn't get the floater achievement before, well, you should get it now. But up on this little walkway here, this little cat walkway, is the explosive Victus XMR. Okay, and there we go. So from here then, what we're going to do, we will turn around. Oh, sorry, just picking up the, uh, yeah, that, that's the gun I want. So we're going to turn around and we're going to drop down where these big, um, whatever the hell they are, big round booby things. And drop straight down and we're going to go into the building again that we were on top of the roof. And inside of here, there is a cruise missile, which we will need for the armament, which we will... Uh, you can go ahead, go outside and quickly use that cruise missile, just to say that it is uh, done, and you've all completed it. Now, what I do is actually not kill the enemies there, and there, it's for a very good reason, actually, because we'll be getting an achievement in just a bit. But where the uh, cruise missile was, have a look at the supply box here, and that's going to get us a munitions box, so you can pick it up. Um, you can go ahead, press the left and right bumper to basically chuck it down, and uh, you can take the ammo if you want. Okay, so staying in this um, building, what we're going to do, we're going to take a right into the next room. Inside this little vending machine area, heading up the stairs on our right. And to the right again, so we're going up another flight of stairs. And another tiny little flight of stairs. Um, grab an armor plate and things if you want, but in uh, down this hallway into this room here on the right, the sort of second to last door on our right, head inside, and there is the supply box which will house the RPK in it. And of course, grab some more um, ammo and stuff if you want as well. So there's the RPK. Right, next up, head back into the hallway, take a right, and go into our last door on the left. Now, what we're going to see here, there is an ascender. Again, if you need an ascender, which comes in handy, so make sure to pick that one up. There's the supply box with the pull yacht 762. And also what we need to do is change our loadout in every single free mission open world level. So this is where the change loadout thing is. A change loadout box. So all you've got to do is literally just change a weapon or something, and that will count. But again, remembering that we have to do this in every level too. And if you still need a vesticle armor upgrade, basically directly in front of us into the next room is where the... Because uh, there's a couple, there's about four or five that spawn on this map. There is where the next one should be. Now, I already accidentally picked one up somewhere else. That's why you don't see it on my screen. But that's where it will be if you need one. So heading outside and going into the room with the RPK, jumping straight out. And then what we're going to do is go to the right, as you can see. And then we're going, we can see the building just in front of us again. So uh, give yourself a little run inside into this uh, kind of looks like a, I don't know, looks like a weapons workshop or something. But anyway, there's the silenced ISO hemlock. And next up then, after we grab, after you grab something that you want to grab, we're going to be going for the third armament now. So head back out the only way that you can came in, go to the right. And uh, just through these containers, it's very easy to miss, but take a left into this open container on the ground. Take a little right and into this open container. This is where the UAV is. Um, so again, press the right tri uh, press right on the D-pad in order to use that. Now, there will be like cruise missiles and UAVs and other armaments on all the different levels as well. So don't worry if you've missed one just yet. Uh, but continue going basically back. Uh, straight through from where we got that UAV. Now we found this ascender rope. We should have the ascender, of course. And this is where we're going to get the signal 50. Uh, the signal 50 box. And it's in a... It's going to be on one of these uh, tricky walkways. So it's very well hidden. So there it is. So we'll drop down onto the walkway. And we're going to open that up to get the signal 50. Right, so once we do have said Signalios on 50 Arnos. Yeah, it looks very pretty. Always have a little check out of his uh, big weapon. Yeah. Um, oh, damn it, I'm being shot at. No. Man, war would be a lot easier without being shot at, wouldn't it? In all fairness. So, uh, take a little left down. Um, try and open your parachute if you can. Uh, just wait until we're all good. Okay, there we go. So straight past the rope that we ascended up earlier. Take a left into this door, into this building. Sorry. And again, there's a couple of goodies in here. But mainly if we take a left, 
and then I left again into this room. There is the next supply box with the hybrid STB556 in it. All right, so from the previous supply box, we are going to take a right outside of the building. We're basically heading for the ship now. So again, there will be a couple of enemies about. Now, what we're going to need is a sentry gun and a jeep and a truck, which uh, is going to be located here. So make sure to try and just steer clear past any enemies and just get straight up onto the boat. Um, there's going to be another whole bunch of enemies on the boat here. So once you have taken care of them, um, continue and head to the left-hand side through the left-hand door. And this is where the next supply box is. Um, the UAV again. We've already done that one, though. But pick it up if you so wish. And grab the incendiary Bryson 800. Okay. So from, so, from the Bryson, head up the steps. Take a right. Go up the next set of steps. Take a left, Getting close to the bridge and again, there will be a couple of enemies. Take a left directly into the next room, and this is a sentry gun, which we're going to need for an achievement in just a bit, so make sure to not use that just yet. Uh, there's an armor plate there, and more importantly, there's the next supply box with the Rugal AD. Frugal Rugal. So, from the Frugal Rugal AD, um, another change, out, change loadout box there, if you so wish, uh, but take a right as we exit out of the hallway. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think I will. Jesus Christ. Anyway, once we get into this sort of main room, we're going to head to the left. And inside here, then, there is a bomb drone, which we are actually going to use. And there is another supply box as well. So make sure to use the bomb drone. Um, try to get it away from you because you will actually kill yourself incredibly muchos. Probably not the best place um, from where I've done this, but there we go. Ah, got lucky with that one. Right, so anyway, once you've used the bomb drone, pick up. make sure to pick up the sentry gun again, and then pick up the supply box with the KVD enforcer in it. And now we're going to be going for the I Call Shotgun achievement, and that, again, is for shoot, killing five enemies with a sentry gun while on a moving vehicle. Also, if you need another vest um, armor upgrade, it's going to be right here where I'm stood. So that is... Uh, but again, you, you only need to grab two on every level. So if you've already got the two, they won't appear. That's all good. So we're going to head out now the way we came. And what we basically need to do now is just jump off the boat. And we need to find a truck. Any truck, as long as it's got a place for us to put our sentry gun down. There's going to be two achievements uh, that are going to pop. That will pop. So we can just drop straight down. There'll be some enemies, so just ignore them. Head for any truck. There's one for me right here. So we're going to jump up. Press the uh, right on the D-pad to get your sentry gun out. You're going to have to put it on top of the truck. For some reason, I'm being absolute dongbaggish right now. There we go. And then get in by pressing the X button. Uh, there's the sample platter. That's for getting five armament, armament, armaments out of the way. Uh, but enter the uh, Jeep. Now, you don't actually have to do anything. You've just got to get close enough to the enemy um, where the gun will detect said enemies and you can always tell when they detect the enemies because it will have a uh, target sensor on it uh, so basically hopefully it doesn't take you that long it took me a good few minutes of finding even just five enemies but just keep driving along until you find five enemies and then that will get you the i call shotgun achievement again that's for driving a vehicle with a sentry gun on the back and having that kill five enemies so, I already done more than five, but for some reason it did take a little bit, a little bit of time there to unlock. Like, seriously, a bit of a while to unlock. So, if it doesn't unlock straight away, don't panic your butts off about it. You are all good. Right, so, let's go ahead now. That's all the miscellaneous achievements we can get for this level. So, what we'll do is go ahead and grab the rest of the achievements. So, what we're going to do now is, if you just sort of head back towards the boat and... Just pretend like we've already jumped off. We need to head to the right. So as you've jumped off the boat, head to the right where these A-TAC um, red con shipping containers are. Once you have got here, we're going to jump up on top of this red container. Jump up to the next one as well. And here is the next supply box. This has the Basby in it. The old bar. The old bath. Sounds like a Scottish person saying balls. Baz. Sort of. 
Anyway, from here, we're going to just drop straight down from uh, from opposite where we got the supply box, straight through this open container, and to uh, the left as we go through, here is the next supply box. This is going to have the GS Magna. That just sounds like a new Magnum ice cream, doesn't it? The GS Magna. Um, and if you're wondering, so basically what we're doing now is we're going to head straight up. We're going to get the recon drone, which is going to be directly in front of us. So just drop straight down. And to the left, you can see a little, what looks like a little building debris sort of courtyard type thing. Jump up on all of the rubble and stone. And here is the recon drone. So that should be now 20 out of 21 weapons and items. And finally, from here, we're going to get the silenced rival 9. Eventually, after we just pick up everything that we can. Uh, so immediately from the recon drone, just jump up onto the container. May take a few tries. And straight in front of you then is weapon and item 21 out of 21. The silenced rival 9. Now also, just a, f a minute ago, if you're wondering why there was a bit of an edit where the screen looks a little bit darker. That's because for some reason I put the brightness up to like 75. And that's why it looked a bit weird. Um, so I just put that back down to normal level so apologies if i burnt your eyeballs off about that one but anyway once you've pressed start you can see that you should now have 21 out of 21 and then on to level three now what we're going to be doing is getting a few, whole bunch of miscellaneous achievements restarting the check uh, restarting the level and starting again so as soon as you are able to press the a button to deploy the parachute and we are going to head for the big massive red and white crane directly in the middle of the map in front of us so we are going to do that. Now, what we need to do for this one, we need to travel more than 150 meters with our parachute. But it won't count if you do it straight from the helicopter. So make sure to land on this crane. And then what we're going to do, you can see the helicopter with the orange smoke bellowing out of it. What we're going to do, we're going to parachute our way past that helicopter and onto the sand path just behind it. So give yourself, as soon as you jump, press the A button to get your parachute going. Go through and, pa well, not through the helicopter, but straight past the helicopter. Helicopter. And you can see the sandy path directly in front of us. So as soon as you land, that should be more than 150 meters. And that will get you the frequent flyer achievement. Now, I only keep restarting the level just because it's easier to do so. Rather than trying to find somewhere with a, a zip line, trying to find somewhere else. It's easier just to start from every uh, level. So restart the level. And then what we're going to do, if you look directly in front of us, so we can leave it a bit, get our parachute out. And then you can see the sort of building with what looks like, you know, it's sort of blocked off by six, well, nine walls almost. That's what we're going for, because we need to grab the ascender, first of all. You'll always need to grab the ascender and everything in each level. So drop down. And that is the Ascender. So what we're going to do next is grab the High Wire Act for killing 10 enemies while using a zip line. But we need the RGL-80 to do that. So directly in front of us there, just from where we got the Ascender, that's where we're going to head. That supply box right there. So that will always count as your first one anyway. So drop straight down, ignoring the enemies. It goes straight in front of us. And we're going to grab the RGL-80. Quickly run towards the back of this building. And you can see a ladder. So, climb yourself up. And then, what we'll do, make sure to switch to your RGL-80. Go onto your zip line, And then, just freestyle shooting the crap out of everyone. Um, so, it can be a bit tricky to aim. Uh, but, what you're going to do is just keep doing that. Try I went a little bit too bad uh, with the shooting. So, try and take your time with it. There is a refill ammo box right there as well, if you need it. Uh, but, you're going to keep wanting to just go back and forth until all ten unlock. Try not to almost blow your own balls off to bits as well. Or, you know, your, your girl balls. Girls have balls, right? <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, if you do manage to run out of ammo, you can actually just restart the level because the kill count will still count. Um, so just come back, do the exact same thing until you get the high wire act achievement. There it is. Fantastic, near. Okay, so next up, we're going to restart the level once again. And this time, we're going to head for a building just to the back left of where the helicopter is. So again, the, the three bits of bellowing orange smoke are where the helicopter is, as in your main targets. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that just yet. This is another free open level. 
Uh, but head towards the helicopter there in the back left, and we're actually going to head onto the building just to the right of it. There is going to be a lone guy with an RPG rocket launcher. Um, so wait until he's walking away from you, otherwise he's going to blow your nuts off in the sky. Not in a good way. So we're going to we're gonna crouch down, and then just in front of us is the a flamm throwable flammable thing. We're going to pick that up, press the right trigger to throw it at the enemy. So we need to actually hit the enemy if you can, and then quickly shoot it. And then that will get you the, hey, catch achievement. That's for throwing and hitting an enemy directly with a flammable canister, then blowing them up with it. So again, if it doesn't work, just restart the last checkpoint, relast level, or whatever it is, and you're good to go. And we are going to be getting, so once we will restart the level again. Also, by the way, what we need to be doing as well, if you can, if you press up on the D-pad, uh, you can use the spotter scope. Uh, we actually need to tag 60 enemies or items in open combat missions. So, I, um, obviously there's six open combat missions. So, if you don't get it straight away or in this level, don't worry about it. You will be able to grab it later on. But I'll show you how to get it in this level. Um, so, what we're going to do is now head to the building where the big A sign is on it. And the reason we're doing that, we're going to be getting, we're going to grab a shock stick to disable a sentry gun. So head to the building with a big A on it. We're going to drop down here and directly in front of us then is a couple of goody items. This is the shock stick. Now you actually need to use the left bumper, I believe, in order to throw it. The sentry gun is directly in front of us, right there. So, uh, nope, that's not what we're going for, by the way. Uh, so it is, I believe, the left bumper in order to use it. So, get straight ahead, go straight for the sentry gun. For some reason, my legs or my thumbs decided to be broken right now. So, just head straight towards it, throw it at it, and then it should disable that, giving you the have you tried turning it off and on achievement. Now, like I said, every time you are going to be seeing some enemies, press up on the D-pad to get your spotter scope up, and you need to tag... Uh, 60 enemies or items in open combat missions. Now, again, if you don't get it in this level or you just don't want to, or even if you just get a couple and you're just grabbing a couple in each level, um, I will obviously tell you, you're obviously going to know, because I'm going to tell you which ones are the open combat missions. Oh, you son of a biscuit. I actually crapped my pants with that guy. Um, but yes, so what you could be doing then is just if you try and get up Probably best if you can go ahead and restart the level parachute your way onto the red and white crane again And then you should have a big big bird's eye view of a lot of enemies and a lot of items um, But anyway, just keep pressing up on the d-pad as you were going through the game in order to tag 60 enemies or items So once you have done that now we can actually finally crack on then with the um uh, grabbing all of the weapons and items. Now, there are 29 in this level, and it is a big old level as well. So you need to be as uh, following along, hopefully, as good as you can. So once we restart the level again, what you're going to do is look literally, literally directly below you. So that's where we kind of are on the map, right on the left-hand side. But as soon as you start, look directly below you. Jump onto this building. Um, if you don't manage to jump onto it, you can, there's two enemies at the front you can dispatch. And then you can climb up onto the truck. But once you are up on this roof, we're going to drop down and grab the silenced Holger 556 from the um, supply box right here. So there we go. And again, if you want to, you can grab the sentry gun. We'll be grabbing uh, something new, a new armament in just a bit. Um, but from here then, what we can do is, uh, if you have a look, the chair somehow, for some reason... Somebody's just chucked the chair out, and even though everyone's got a whole bunch of weapons and everything, everyone's like, I can't get through this door. Somebody's put a wood wickedy uh, wooden chair up behind it. Biscuits! Right, so uh, once you have dispatched the enemy, again, if you want to, you can go ahead and clear out the enemies first if you want to make it a little bit easier for you. Um, but what we're going to do is head sort of to, uh, away from the building, basically directly in front of us now. Um, and we are going to go straight for this rope. Again, you should have the Ascender if you manage to grab the other miscellaneous achievements. So that should be fine. And just on top of this roof here. Again, there's always going to be a bunch of ammo to refill and everything. But the supply box has the Incendiary MCW in it. 
And it also has the stealth bomb, which is the armament number. Uh, that should already be armament number six. So go ahead, make sure to press it right on the D-pad in order to use your sixth armament. Uh, so again, that takes a little while. That's why you just see me edit it out some. But if you go slightly to your right, this is what you should be looking at. So we can just drop down. There shouldn't be any enemies on the left-hand side here. So we, what we're going to do is just continue forward on the delicious looking mud bath dirt path with a little bit of diarrhea piping going through the pipes. Mmm, delicious. Uh, heading straight through. Again, don't worry, there's no enemy. shouldn't be any enemies just yet. But what we're going to do with this building right here, uh, we're going to head uh, to the left of it, go around it. We're going to go up the ascender. And we're going to go ahead and the supply box is going to be right next to the zip wire here and this is what's going to have the sidewinder in it so this should be uh the third out of 29 already right so from here then what we can do if we take a little cheeky turn around you don't have to go onto the zip line there's just another armament above um across the other zip line which we've already used but you can grab it if you want to get clear out some of the enemies um so what we'll do now we'll jump down Again, sort of stick into the left-hand side, uh, sort of sneaking around the back, at the very back way of the wall. And we're going to be getting a new armament, and it's going to be in this building right here. So you need to go all the way around. We're going to need to climb up on this, what looks like an air vent, air conditioning unit thing, and smash the window in to head down. Or shoot it, apparently. There we go, shoot it, whatever. A uh, couple of armor plates and all the tings, but more importantly, again, there is a supply box in here with the basilisk and a new armament, which would be armament number seven. There's the basilisk pistol, and the sand turret should be directly behind you as well. So again, you can either wait till you get outside, which will probably be easier, um, instead of me trying to place it inside where it has no valid purpose, because there's going to be no enemies coming in here, so... Ah! Either way, make sure to use it and then shoot your way out of the door. Right, so next up we're going to be get we're going to be heading towards the first helicopter. Now, what we need to do is to not destroy the helicopter because there's an achievement for destroying all three helicopters with three different armaments, okay? So, make sure not to destroy the helicopter, but we are going to kill a whole bunch of the enemies around here once they have been taken care of. Right next to the helicopter on the right-hand side is the first supply box with the hybrid STB-556 and the first of two armor vest upgrades, so make sure to pick that one up as well and head to the opposite side of the helicopter to grab the next um, supply box, which should have the peeler in it. Right, so once that's done, head away from the helicopter. And then what you're going to see is this little area right here. And we're going for some anti-armor rounds. So we're going to drop down, head to the right, head up these steps. We're going to go into this big old building boy. And then to the right of us is the supply box here with the anti-armor rounds in them. Again, as you progress through the level, if you haven't already taken care of the enemies, they will just appear. So you're going to have to uh, take a few minutes just to shoot your little way through them. Enemy down! Right, so go through the door, just past the um, little quad bike thing right there. Take a left, and then right in the m open middle on this truck, as we shoot a bra, is going to be the next supply box with the in incendiary MTZ interceptor in it. Turn directly around, and what you're going to see, we're sort of heading back towards the helicopter where we shot up all the enemies earlier on. So we're going to climb up here, uh, ascend up the rope, and this is where we also got the achievement with the RPG guy for shooting him with a flammable thing. There is another two um, armaments on here as well, which we're going to use for the helicopter in just a little bit. But again, we're just going to go ahead and grab the weapons and items first. So head to the back, and then we're going to climb up the ascender again. Then if we just stick with this right-hand side sort of, uh, well, not path, but the... Edge of the roof, you can get some armor plate if you need, but more importantly, the explosive crossbow. Grande! So that should be number 9 out of 29. Right, so continue actually forward on the roof. So continue heading up. There will be an enemy or two 
Uh, potentially with a rocket launcher on this part of the roof here, so just be careful. Whatever's there, give him the old uh, gun Ow. to the old head, as it were. Only on this, though, please. None in real life. And if you just go up to where that enemy was, again, there is right in front of us a, another. It's the Signal 50. So grab that one. Signal 50, and then if you head to the left, you can get a couple of armor plates as well, plus the plate vest carrier armor upgrade. So that should be all three complete now. Well, I say all three complete. That's the two you've got for a total com combination of three slots. Right, so from here, take a right. And we're going to sort of uh, drop off the roof. Um, so you can see this ascender that we can actually jump just drop down with so we're going to descend the ascender and we're going to head into this building and take another immediate left through these double doors take a right by we're going to stay on the ground floor take a right and then immediately to our left there we go there we have the silenced lachman sub and then what we'll do is head to the right there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies in here so you know take care of them if you haven't already of course but it is going to be in this room Right in the middle of it, where we get the incendiary Bryson 800. Okay, so what we're going to do now, again, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies about here. So we'll go outside, take a right, go past the stairs, not at the stairs. Take a right again, past the uh, sentry turret gun. And we're going to uh, use the armament precision airstrike now on the first helicopter. We haven't used one of these yet, so we're going to do that right now. So grab the precision airstrike. Uh, deal with the turret wherever you see fit. Thank you very much. We're just exploding y'alls. And then we can just head forward again. Uh, right on the D-pad. And then left trigger. Aim it at the helicopter. And then that should explode that one. So again, for the helo hat-trick achievement, we need to use three different armaments to blow up the helicopters. And that is the first one. Precision airstrike. So, again, just don't use Precision Airstrike on any of the other two helicopters if you want that achievement. Right, so from here then, what we'll do, we'll go forward. We're going to take a left. So an immediate left. Sorry that there was a bit of a terrible edit there. But take a left, left again, and you will find the Fennec 45. And a Sam Turret as well if you want. In fact, yes, we will use the Sam Turret because we hadn't used it yet. Um, so if you continue going forward past the helicopter which should already be exploded, just to the back right of the helicopter will be another two, um, another two uh, bleh, weapons to grab, the Cronin Squall and the Holger 26. So from there, we will continue, we'll basically go away from the helicopter and the burning wreckage. We can see this uh, sort of white and blue building in front of us. That's what we're aiming for. So go around this building, there's going to be a ladder that we can climb up. And there's a change loadout box right here as well. So make sure to use the change loadout box and grab the silenced Vel 46 as well. Um, plus a bomb drone here as well if you just want to get rid of some of, the, uh, some of the enemies if you so wish. So it will drop down on the left. You can see this open window. We're going to shoot the chair in order for the door to open up. Because again, apparently, you know, people can't just burst through. Um, and then if we go through in, well, there's a couple of things on the floor. And more importantly, there's going to be an armor box in this supply box right here. So make sure to open up the supply box, grab the armor box, and that's job done. So that should be 17 out of 29 if you want to pause and have a little check. Otherwise, we can head through the uh, building, sort of basically out the other side now. We'll unlock the door, lovely. And then what we'll do from here then, we're going to take a left, um, get shot at completely. And we're going to go through this sort of... Well, if you have a look up there, the B1. So into this courtyard or whatever with the B1 sign. Make sure to hack the sentry gun so that it is unhacked. And then directly in front of us then, we are going to grab this first supply box with the incendiary haymaker in it. The uh, next one, which has the HCR-56. And we are going to grab the munitions box as well. So there's the two supply boxes there. Then if we head to the back of this area, take a left up the stairs to the G6, yo. Yo, G-Unit. And then continue going up the steps. There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, enemies again here. And thanks to the magic of editing, they're all dead now. And here is the munitions box in the supply box anyway. So that should be 18, 19, and 20 all done. 
uh, refill your ammo or whatever as you so wish, of course. But what we're going to do now is head basically to the back um, of where we came up those steps. Uh, make sure to parachute your way over to the other side. Oof, almost messed that one up. Again, maybe an enemy or two if you haven't um, already taken care of them. But what we'll do is head, take a left up these steps. And here in this supply box is going to be the heartbeat sensor. So make sure to grab that one. There is a SAM turret there as well if you need it. Uh, but before heading up the ascender, go past that, down this little walkway. And then take a left. Don't go down the zip line because, of course, the supply box here has the silenced expedoi. The expedoi 12. Right, now we're actually going to go up that ascending rope. Up we go, son. Let's do it. Why do we get shot at? Oh, we're back up to crane land. Yes, we are. Okay, continue. Head all the way down to the end of this crane. And, right, you ain't shooting me from there, I know. Not with your goddamn crappy pistols. Uh, anyway, here's the supply box right at the end with the incendiary FJX Imperium. Right, okay, so we're going to do a big jump and parachute jump now. Just having a little look, seeing what en enemies are about, and there's none. So we'll go... We're sort of basically heading back on ourselves, right in the middle. So get into the parachute. You can see the building with the E on it right there. The circular building with the letter E. That's what we're heading for. So it was basically to the left of where we jumped off the crane. So head to this area. And right here is going to be the uh, silenced core 45. Uh, if you haven't been here already, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies to take. But what you should have already got the RGL 80. So once you've grabbed that, then uh, we're going to head to the opposite side of where the RGL 80 was. We're going to go through this uh, little building open door already. Take it left through the double doors. And then left again to go up the steps. And another supply box here. We'll have the incendiary Sagan MG38. And we, we're, we're about to get armament number eight as well to use on the helicopter. So take a left, head back up the steps. And then up onto the roof again. And here we are. We're about to mortar strike up this boy now. There is the mortar strike. We still have, we haven't used this one either. So again, right on the D-pad, make sure to aim it directly at the helicopter and that will... Uh, yeah, that'll smash open a few helicopters, coconuts, noggins. Yeah! Two out of three, yeah, yeah! Right, refill ammo as you see uh, fit. And we've only got a couple uh, of uh, guns left to get now. So, what we're going to do from this area, if we turn to the right of where we are now, just uh, let me just chuck some uh, chicken breast down me here. Chicken breast armors, delicious. But we're going to turn to the right, and you're going to see this big old radio tower directly in front of us. That is what we're aiming for. So, nip your noodles straight off to the old oodles. Oh, yes, son. We're going to climb our way up, of course, using the old Ask Kenda. And right at the very top is going to be the KV Inhibitor. So, open up the supply box. There, there she is, the KV Inhibitor. Now, we are going to go really the only way that we can go if you want to go anywhere. We're aiming for this building right here. Where I just shot the bro to death. So, give yourself the old parachute of life and we'll just drop down. You can see where the blinking light is. That's what we're heading for. Ah, nice. And this time we are grabbing the VTOL jet. So, this is going to be another armament. Which we, again, haven't used. So, make sure to use that. That's how we're going to get the achievement, by using each armament. Just in case I hadn't made that clear about 16 times previously. Right, so from here we can actually just um, go to the right. Uh, oh, there's a SAM turret there if you need that. But we're going to go to the right here. We're going to jump up onto this uh, roof. Jump through the building. And then what you're going to do, you're going to actually sneak through. You're going to have a little look down the hole. And there will be a door or something that we can either use to explode. So, yep, use that so the door will actually open. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. So, explode the door open right there. Then we can drop down right down out of the other side. Whee! Beautiful. Okay, head through the double doors. Take a left. 
And then th another left as we go through the next double doors. And then the locked room with the supply box. This uh, does have the minigun. And then the final one, which we should need, is just the snapshot pulse. And that is from here. We're going to take a right. So right. Head outside. And it's actually going to be directly in front of us. So just behind the truck right there. There it is. So the snapshot pulse. That is going to be number 29 out of 29. And that is going to be job done. Okay. Right. So we're not quite done. We're done. You should now be done with all the weapons and items. But if we have a look where we are on the map right now. It's basically right in the center of the map. Where the final helicopter is. Slightly to the left of there. We're going to need the cruise missile armament. Now we've already used it once. But this is just um, a lot more accurate in terms of destroying this final helicopter with a uh, with three different armaments. So remember, we've already used the precision airstrike and the mortar strike. So now we're going to head to uh, where the helicopter is. And we're going to use our third armament to get the helo hat trick. So heading up, up the old Ask Kenda. Asking Kenda, whoa, where the hell? Bruh, what the hell? Uh, if you do end up missing, for whatever particular reason with the cruise missiles, there is a stealth bomb and a bomb drone on this uh, level as well. What we're going to do then, again, once you've got the cruise missile, it's going to explode into tiny pieces, so just try and aim for the helicopter then as best as you can. Now, I do uh, miss quite badly, but luckily for me it still worked, so... There we go, that's the Helo Hattrick achievement, plus all the weapons and items, and plus all the other miscellaneous achievements done on this level. So that one took a while, but we got there eventually, didn't we? So, next up then, we're on to level 4. Uh, level 4, Payload. Now, for this one, what we need to do then is we have to shoot five enemies... Five groups of two enemies with one bullet, if that makes any sense at all. So we need to kill two enemies with one bullet five times. That's one. That, yeah, that, that's easier, isn't it? So what you'll do then, you'll press uh, right to go into the um, the drone mode. That's what I'm getting at. So go into drone mode so you can tag enemies. And then, yeah, it's going to be nice and easy once you can actually see where these enemies are, once they have been spotted. So you have to do it with the EBR-14, which is the gun you start with anyway. So, nay panicking about that one. But again, you will have to be quite stealthy because uh, these enemies can see you from pretty far away. So, you can sort of walk up a little bit first, but it is definitely better to stealth your way through. So, we're going to stick with the left, the left path. It's just the easiest way that we're going to do this. There's no point going through the middle because you'll get spotted a lot easier. There are the first two enemies directly in front of us. Now, the closer we get the more they will uh, sort of get together. And you'll see exactly what I mean now. So just keep uh, uh, sneaking forward. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Sneaking all day long. Finding, finding. Soap. Where are you, Soap? Soap, what kind of bloody old name's that, eh? Oh, the first classic Call of Duty Modern Warfare line, huh? Right, so as we get... Remember, you can hide in the tall grass as well, so you, that you can hide. I highly recommend doing that, because, you know, you, you need to do this without sounding the alarm. So, yeah, that definitely helps. But again, the closer you get to them, uh, they will eventually start walking towards each other, like they're doing right now. So all you've got to do is just wait until they are completely lined up, and then you can give them the shot. Make sure that they both go down. If they don't... You can go ahead and reload the checkpoint. The checkpoint system is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite decent, actually, uh, especially in this game. So once you've taken those two down, the next two are going to be, again, just a little bit further ahead. But with these, set, with these next set of enemies, um, you'll want to try and get them kind of quickly, kind of straight away, only because... They will separate. They will eventually go back together, but it will take a long time. So try and get them. So as you can see, I, I kind of shot them there from pretty far away. 
only because they would eventually have moved left and right and it would have taken an age for them to get back together again. So just sneak ever so inchly forward and then as soon as they are together, just give them the old shot of life. Now, what we're going to do for this one, we're going to go around the left to the of the building here. Uh, it's just easier to do that. But the closer you get, the guy on the right will actually start walking and walking quite quickly. So you're going to have to be quite quick with this one. Again, otherwise you're going to be waiting an age. So inch ever so slightly forward, keeping your aim sight down on this guy. And then as soon as the guy on the right starts walking, give him, uh, give them both the shot death of life. So again, just keep doing it. There we go. So he's off. Make sure that you get them both. And then that should now already be three. Um, but yeah, so that one, if you do end up missing, if you if you did end up missing him there, um, he would have taken an age and a half to come around and get back to his spot. Uh, but this is where the next checkpoint is anyway. So this is all good. So we will uh, just continue sneaking our way to the left. We're going to head through the tanks here. So the left-hand side tanks. And then what we're going to do, again, I'm going to take another sort of quick shot here as we just snip through the grass. But they're going to get quite uh, together very quickly here. So once they are, obviously, once again, we're going to shoot the goddamn heaven, bruh. Because, you know, that's the achievement, isn't it? So, yeah. So just wait here. And then, bam. Call that a twofer. Bam. Call it a twofer. Now, again, you do have to wait until Price says. As long as Price says, call that a twofer or something similar, then uh, you know that that uh, is confirmed. Right, so we're going to head to the left. Again, do a bit of sneaky sneaky here. Now, it may seem like the one enemy can see you. And you'll see exactly what I mean now, because it looks like he's looking directly at you, even though we're completely out of the grass and we're aiming a gun at him, but we're not. But these are the, the final two enemies that we're going to destroy. Uh, you have to get quite as, as far left as you can, but once you've done, kill those guys, and that is too far done. Too fell. Lovely stuff. Right, so uh, now you can just carry on with the level as normal. There's nothing left to do. Next, we're on to level 5, Deep Cover. Now, this one may take a couple of attempts. So we have to basically acquire the Major's key card within 90 seconds. So uh, put your pistol away straight away. With the um, right, uh, with the right on the D-pad. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we're going to head down. Now you can't sprint, you can't jump, you can't do anything like that. That'll be suspicious, and then you'll get caught. So we're going to head to the right, and then head to the left, just to avoid the enemies. And then from here, we are going to go through the building again, trying not to get run over by the truck. So just nip through the building again. You can't sprint or anything like that. So here's the checkpoint as well. So again, go left. Try to avoid the enemy, um, all the enemies that are uh, within you. And then we go by you. Then we're going to go left into this building again. There's going to be another checkpoint. We're going to take a right. Wait until those enemies go. Now, you can actually reload the last checkpoint. If you don't think you were quick enough for whatever reason, you can reload the last checkpoint. We're going to wait a second or two there and then head up the stairs. And then what we're going to do, we're going to wait until she gets into the back corner and then we'll f use the throwing knife at her by pressing the right bumper. Now, you need to wait until the general is in the building enough so that he doesn't get caught. So if you um, if you kill him when he's a little bit outside, that will avoid the achievement if he gets seen being killed. So there's the general. Give him a kill. Hold the X button immediately. And then hopefully that should be quick enough. But again... Um, if you can, you can actually reload the checkpoint if you don't think that you were quick enough there. And that will be that for that level. So again, apologies that that was a bit quick, but, uh, you know, that's, that's uh, yeah, that it's a bit quick there. So on to level six then, the crash site. So we are basically where we have started. I've gone ahead and taken out quite a few of the enemies at the beginning because there's a whole bunch of trucks and stuff that will appear. So from the start, then you can see the house directly in front of us. So we're going to go more to the left. And there is the first uh, weapon and item crate, the Silenced Victus XMR, which actually comes in mega handy for this mission. So pick that up, and that is number one out of ten done. So from here then, what we'll do, we'll head towards the house now. 
And then we're actually going to go inside. You didn't actually have to do the jump of life there. I just like doing it because I found a queue. Head to the right inside this bedroom and the supply box here with the cast of 762 is there. Right, next we're going to grab our first weapon vest armor upgrade. Not weapon, but vest. Head out of the window, take a left, pass the truck, and then immediately on your left is a door that we can go in. And this is where the vest armor upgrade, or the plate carrier upgrade is, whatever you want to call it. And of course, the usual bits of uh, goodies, just for us. So from here, take a left, go around the building, still sticking with the left-hand side wall, to get the heartbeat sensor supply box upgrade. So we go ahead and grab that, and then from here, once we have refilled and done all that yummy, delicious, donut-juiced stuff... Um, from there, we'll go left again, so you can see the burning plane wreckage, so pass the truck on your left, underneath this little shelter type thing, to find the, uh, the silenced crossbow. Okay, so, from the silenced crossbow, we will continue effectively forward, so there's your burning plane wreckage on the right, so you're just going to continue on going forward, pushing on, and underneath this bit of shelter here is uh, a bomb drone, which you can use if you want, but the incendiary RAL MG is the next one. Right, oh, and you'll see just how powerful this is now. See? I told you, that's pretty darn powerful. Okay, so from here, the incendiary RAL MG, what we're going to do is head straight in front of us. Don't know what the hell I'm up to. Uh, but straight in front of us, through the window, is where we're going to get the next supply box, so nip yourself in. To grab the incendiary Lockwood 680. And there is going to be the ve uh, vest armor upgrade as well in here. So we'll just go out of the door. Take a left. And this is where the second out of two plate carrier vest armor upgrades are. Okay, so from the vest carrier plate upgrade or whatever you want. Head out of the door. And sort of take a right. And then underneath this, uh, this little bit... Oh, that's a little bit of shelter. Sorry, for some reason I got my Scottish out for some particular reason. Uh, but under the shelter there is a armor box. That should already be 7 out of 10. And, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to do a video right here. It's very rude of you to interrupt, so I'll just shoot you dead. So from there, we'll go effectively straight in front of us now to what looks like a barn. I say what looks like a barn because it is a barn. We're going to head inside that said what it looks like is a barn. And on our right is the next supply box with the silenced M4 in it. And a sentry gun as well for good measure if you so particularly wish. Okay, so from that silenced M4, we will head out of here, take a left. And what we're going to do is go climb up this truck around this building up on top. And the supply box you can see is right there. Um, I did... Oh, and we get the cluster mine as well. Sorry, we haven't used the cluster mine yet. So we can use the cluster mine. That'll be for the first time. Not that we'll do any good. But there's going to be a bunch of enemies about. So uh, take care of them if you haven't already. And the supply box is behind you. The silenced Saab 50. And directly from there, jump straight down. And the opposite side is going to be 10 out of 10. The munitions box. So this is the crash site done. So that should be weapons and items discovered, 10 out of 10. Now, what we're going to do then, we're going to head for the middle of the map. All we've got to do now is just change the loadout. Now, if you're struggling to ever find where the loadout is, it looks like a big crate on the map. So you can see where the big box crate looking thing is on the map. All you've got to do is just head towards that, and that's where it is. But I will obviously show you anyway... Just from where we are then, so we will, I mean, it's, like I said, it's effectively in the middle of the map. It's got a sentry gun outside it. Uh, it's that house directly in front of us there. So just head up that way. Again, just show you where exactly it is on the map. Head up that way, change your loadout again to whatever it is. If You, you literally just have to change Uno thing. And once you do change Uno thing, that's all you've got to do now. And then you can... Uh, Carry on with the level O and get on with the uh, next one, which is going to be level 7, Flashpoint. Or Flashpoint for normal sounding people. 
Uh, right, so what we're going to do for Flashpoint, when we get to this area with the ambulance men who aren't really ambulance men, uh, you, what you need to do is focus on the two back right-hand side guys. Because eventually, they go, the, the guy on the very back right-hand side is going to toss a gun to the guy to his left. Now, what you need to do is shoot the gun before the guy catches it. So if you aim your gun there at the sort of right-hand side door, keep shooting the sort of right-hand side door handle, and that should work. I was always aiming for the left, and it never seemed to work. So if you aim for the right-hand side door handle and keep shooting as soon as it starts, you should be able to get that first time. Right, so after you've gotten through the Flashpoint level, we're on to level 8, the Oligarch. And again, this is a weapons-free open combat mission. So we are going to be getting, yes, a whole bunch of collectibles once again. So starting off in the water, we're going to head towards the right-hand side on this boat. But we're not going on the boat. We're actually going to the ladder just to the left of the boat. For some reason, I, I decided to climb the boat and everyone was getting really annoyed with me. So, goddamn, sorry, guys. I just wanted some fun. So, shoot Broski here, and then immediately on our right, in this little boat, is the first weapon, the MCW 6.8. I don't know why it's a 6.8. I don't know why they just couldn't put it up to 7, or, you know, 10 out of 10. But anyway, what do I know? I'm not a gun maker, brah, am I? I'm just a guide maker, brah. So, from there, we're going to go to the right-hand side on the shoreline, the beach shoreline. Underneath this little umbrella, a nice looking, you know, whatever, is the STD B556. Continuing around the right-hand side to the shoreline. And we're going to go into... Oh, we're going for a nice little swim. Which, obviously, with a whole lot of heavy army gear on, yeah, that always does not help. But continue climbing up here, and we're going to get our first vest armor upgrade, or plate carrier upgrade. Sorry, I keep forgetting to say. Um, and there's a couple of bits here as well. And because there's a whole bunch of enemies, if you want to use a cruise missile, um, you can actually go ahead and do that. Either way, from the plate carrier upgrade, we're going to head up. And we, once we get up here, take an immediate left, and you can see two boxes that we're going to grab. The Incendiary Bryson 800 and the Recon Drone. So there's the next two supply boxes done. So that should already be four, three and four out of 21. Yes, I suppose they are. That's what the enemy does. They're looking for you. You don't need to tell me, bruv, I'm being shot at constantly. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to head towards this big house now in the middle. Gee. Ah, take that at the butt, bro. So get into the head. Get into the head. Get into the house. Open up the supply box. The silenced M16 should be directly in front of us. So once you have finished that one, what we're going to do is take a left out of the side of this house. And then we're going to drop down. We're going to grab the heartbeat sensors and night vision goggles because we're going to go caving. But uh, just here then is the heartbeat sensor just to the left of where we came down from the previous house. And make sure to pick up the night vision goggles as well. We are definitely going to need them. And then from here, continue going sort of towards the left hand side of the map. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go up this little dirt path. Now, on the very left, you can see what looks like a cave entrance, because it is a cave entrance, and that's what we're going for. Make sure to take the Ascender as well, because we're definitely going to need the Ask Kender. And then what you need to do then is just follow the path around. There's only one way to go for the time being, so keep following the path around. So once you get out of the water, like a fish out of water, you can see this boat with a couple of uh, bits of goodies in it. The main thing we're going to do is head to the right of where the boat was. Head up the Ask Kenda. Call me an Ask Kenda. And eventually, when we get to the end, we can finally find the uh, very well-hidden supply box with the hell of a weapon, the explosive cat Ammer, Aston Martin Racing. So yes, that is number 7 out of 21. Okay, so after you've uh, chucked some chicken breasts in your old um, chest, plate, carrier upgrade, whatever, 
We're obviously going to head back down. So, D skinned. Whee! Nah, probably looks like fun, apart from, you know, being shot out and stuff. And then, from the boat, this time we're going to head to the right. So, we're basically out of the cave now. There we go. So, once with that, we will head to the left. Uh, again, maybe a few enemies if you haven't taken them all out. So, you know, just... You do you, son. You do you. Bro, stop avoiding my goddamn bullets. All right, thank you. Okay, so now we're going to head back up. So, effectively, it's left and then left again from when we came out of the cave. Uh, so, we can see where the cave entrance is. Only this time, we're not going up that cave en uh, through that cave entrance. We're heading to the right and up to this lovely-looking housey bit. Um, now, this is where the guy with the key card should be, because we're going to need to grab that key card as well in just a bit. But we're going to jump up to the roof by climbing onto the flowers first, onto the roof... And grabbing the supply box with the silenced DM-56 in it. Slide into my DM-56, baby. Uh, no, don't do that. Okay, so from here then, uh, go to the opposite side of the roof. And we're going to drop down. We're going to go into the middle. So down the steps, go into the middle of this area where the big old statue is. And then right in front of us is going to be, well, an enemy apparently. But apart from the enemy, there is going to be a supply box with the Crone and Squall sitting inside it. Okay, so now we are going to grab the key card. We are going to need that key card, which is part of the main objective anyway. Uh, just as I'm being shot at. What the heck? You cheeky son of a... Where the hell did... Bruh, some of these people. Anyway, for me, the guy was in this room. Um, so whatever he is, make sure that you grab that fob key. He will be... An obvious looking bro, because he's going to be the only one shooting at you in his suit. And once you've done that then, we can head towards the back left, next to this delicious looking building. There is going to be an enemy in here as well. I took him out with a bomb drone earlier. But to the left, open up the door, grab the supply box with the RGL-80 in it. And again, you know, get the armor plates and some other stuff as well. Make sure to change the loadout as well. This is where the changing loadout is. Again... Chuck a knife in, just change one thing, and you will be absolutely golden aroni. Pepperoni head. Okay, so it is again in this room that we are going to use the fob key. It's going to be with this machine right here, so we're going to open up the bunker door. Again, bear in mind there's going to be another three enemies in there. You know, not too diff not <laughs> not too difficult or anything. Uh, not too, yeah, not too difficult or anything, but there's the first two. There is going to be a third one in there as well. But drop down from the left-hand side of the stairs right there. Open up the supply box to grab the anti-armor rounds, which should be number 11 out of 21. There's enemy number three. So now we can head into the bunker. And then immediately on our right is going to be a supply box with the pull, the pull miot 762. Pull your mot. Pull your mot. Now, don't actually interact with the machine like we are supposed to yet. We're going to head out. We're going to take a right down into this little lovely looking bar area right here. And we are going to get the next gun and a plate carrier upgrade. That should be the two out of the two done. Cluster mine there as well. Um, try not to use it in a close proximity like I did and almost got my legs blown off the bits. But there's the supply box there with the silenced Bryson 800. So again, that should be 13 now out of 21 for the weapons and items if you want to press start and have a little look. But anyway, once we have done this, head back up the stairs to our left. And then we're going to take a right and we're going to go around to the main mansion area right now. Again, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies here with flying bomb drones, which will charge towards you if you get too close. So just be very, very careful. Uh, on your right here, you can see a couple of armor plates and things like that but if we head back uh, so where we were at the uh, top of the steps and then head to this sort of grassy area on the left you can see a down parachute and a minigun now we're going to take we are going to take this minigun because we there's an achievement in this level for destroying all of the cars and this is the area that we're doing it in so from the minigun continue heading straight down to this car right here which has already been exploded for me the supply box will have an armor box in it. 
Ah, oh, and that's what I mean by the flying bomb drones. They will just charge towards you, so, you know. Be careful and everything. Uh, Jesus, get it! Man, war would be so much easier with no people in it, wouldn't it? Huh? God, it'd be simple as. Okay, so anyway, from the anti-armor rounds, or whatever we just picked up, the armor box, sorry, head to the left. Now, this is where we're going to get the achievement. But first of all, uh, there's a supply box, which is going to be directly in front of us. The supply box, which will have the hybrid cast of 545 in it. So once you pick that up again, that should be number 16 out of 21. And now, using your minigun, you can just go ahead and blast all of these cars. Um, if you... Don't, for some reason, manage to do it with the minigun, even though there is a refill armor box right there. Um, remember, we picked up the RGL-80 from the very first house that we picked up, sort of at the bottom towards the beach. So if you want to grab that, you can. Or you just go ahead and use a couple of grenades and everything. But either way, uh, it shouldn't take you too long there to just destroy all of the cars, and the achievement will unlock. Okay, so once you've got the achievement and you have the hybrid cast of, take a left. Again, trying to avoid the bomb drones if you can. Take a left, head up these steps on the right here and get inside the building so you're kind of safe. Again, there may be an enemy or two squawking about, but head up the stairs anyway. Into this room here, basically one of the main bedrooms, and on the uh, there's a supply box there, the Akimbo.50 Gamer Score. See, Gamer Score has ruined it for me. Anytime you see GS now, I automatically associate that with Gamer Score. But anyway, once you've done, head back down the stairs. We are going to head to the left once we're down the stairs. Ah, stupid bomb drones. Uh, into this little gym area where we can find another supply box. This time it has the silenced wisp 9 Silent wasp 9. Okay, so from here then there is an exit to our left That's what we're gonna go down now. Just be careful. There is a claymore which will blow your legs off in just a bit Just as we start heading down these steps in the middle the claymore is gonna be here right here so be very very careful not to, you know, get your nuts blown off. Because as it turns off, having your nuts blown off hurts. Or any part of your body apparently hurts as well. But anyway, once you're good, you should, uh, it should only be one. So we can just drop down here. And the supply box is in this area. This is where the snapshot pulse is. And then from here, again, we're going to have to be careful. There isn't going to be another claymore. But head back up the steps. Take a left down. And we're going to drop straight down. The claymore is in here. So, you know, don't do exactly what i done just there. And almost get myself blown up once more. It's stupid man. Stupid, stupid. Anyway, supply box on the left has the silenced M4. And then finally, we've just got one more left to go. It's going to be the explosive crossbow. So from here, um, we're going to turn around. Can't get out of the gate. So we'll just climb over the wall instead. So, drop down and head towards this building right on the shoreline. Head into the door, or head in through the door even. Head in through the next door. And then on the right is the supply box with the explosive crossbow. So if you have a double check, you should now be on 21 out of 21. And then you can just finish the level as usual. Right, so now we're on to level 9, which is High Rise. Now, there's a big miscellaneous achievement that we've got to do first before we go around the confusing buildings, getting the um, weapons and items. So we play as Lewis Hamilton, because he lo just looks like a spit of Lewis Hamilton, in all fairness. So turn the corner, shoot this guy dead, and then uh, we can just climb up the ladder. So what we need to do first, we have to play this level... Uh, properly, properly until we get the Ascender, and then we can restart the level, because we'll still have the Ascender in our inventory, 
and then we can just uh, get to the roof in 45 seconds. Um, but it does take about three or four minutes in order to get to the Ascender. So we're going to climb up. Again, shotgun's probably the best way to do it. Take a left. There's going to be two enemies here. So give them the old dashy-bashy of life. As we continue on, two enemies on the left are going to come down the stairs. So again, just be very careful. I almost get my nuts blown off again. You know, but just, just any part of me gets blown off. Not in the goddamn good way. Uh, so once you've gotten rid of these enemies, be careful going up the stairs because to the hallway on our right is going to be a whole bunch of enemies. So take care of these, what you will. Now, of course, I am playing on Recruit, so it might be easy um, to just get straight through them. But, of course, just take your time because there's no point rushing and then having to start from the beginning because, you know, you're trying to be the Recruit action hero. Oh! Ah, finally, after, after being grenaded like hell. Um, so once you've gotten through to this area, you're going to head up the steps to the right. Head outside. So climb outside, climb up the boxes, go to the right again. Again, obviously there's going to be all these enemies here, so, you know, be prepared. And then what we're going to do, we're going to just be quick uh, with this part. So we're going to go through the next door on the left. We're going to immediately in the middle of this room climb up these sets of uh, items and whatever. Head up the ladder, shoot the enemy dead here. There's going to be another couple as well to take care of. And then head outside to the left, head up the boxes... And shoot this guy as well. Now, again, in that previous room, if you stood stood around, um, it's you basically get ambushed. There's a whole bunch of enemies. So that's why we just climbed up the um, particular items as quick as we could. Jump up, over. Again, try and jump. give yourself a little bit of a momentum run. Head through this hallway. Take a right. Again, a couple of enemies are going to be here as well. So just be careful. Bam! And shablam! There we go. So straight through all of these hallways. Again, sort of only one way to go, really. Um, and then continue on to the right. We're going to open up this door. And then we're going to go, uh, f yep, follow the arrow to the right. And this is where the Ascender is. So finally, after what seems like forever, it's not really forever, it's only like four minutes or so, three, four minutes. But what we can do now, you can either jump to your death, or we can just simply restart the mission, which we will do. Now, to get to the roof in 45 seconds is actually easy. You can pretty much do it within 25 to 30 seconds. But the annoying... The annoyingest bit, excuse me, the annoyingest bit there was actually playing through the mission first time. So, again, once we begin then, head forward as Lewis Hamilton, or Gaz for short. Take a right, head up the ascender. Keep your gun out because you will need to uh, kill these two enemies on the left. So once we get out, head to the left, shoot the two enemies. Now, you can actually run faster by uh, getting out your pistol. So go ahead and do that. So press Y there to get your pistol out. Head straight up the ascender. Again, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Head to the left so we can go onto the zip line. And it's literally as simple as that. So that is done. The achievement should unlock. It may take just a few seconds to unlock here. But it will. There it is. Look, so there we go. So the elevator out of order achievement is done. And now we can go ahead, restart the mission once again. And this time we are going to go and grab all the weapons and items. Now, there's only 19, so you'd think, oh, it's not too bad. But this is one mazed up kind of confusing type level. So you need to try and, uh, yeah, just, just follow me. And, you know, we'll be golden as dandy nuts, really, won't we? Yes, we will. I wouldn't steer you wrong. So, once we start then, again, uh, we will head to the right. And we will ascend our way up. So, again, make sure that you kill the two enemies on your left. So, from here, we need to go to the right. But make sure to kill the two enemies on your left because they can be quite problematic. Um... Because they'll shoot at you, obviously. So there's your problem. 
So, uh, head back, so head basically to the right of where we came up, grab the night vision goggles. Now, there's going to be a whole bunch of traps in here as well, so just be careful. So, you head to the right, and there's going to be one claymore right there. So, uh, track that, or hack that even. Track and hack. Head to the left-hand side door and come out of here. And we'll just simply take a right. Again, there's going to be another one on the wall, so just be careful. Disable that trap. Once you have disabled the trap, head to the right-hand side door. And there's going to be three that we need to take care of here in just a bit. So go, uh, we can climb through the window um, as well. In fact, you know, it, it literally made absolutely no difference whatsoever. Uh, so just inch ever forward. <clears throat> in fact, it was a reason that we went through the window so we wouldn't um, um so we wouldn't get mashed up by the traps so there are two on the floor right there and there's the third one on the wall so again just disable them because it's so easy to run into um from here then we're going to go through the door which we haven't opened yet and again there is going to be another one on the wall so just disable that one but to the right before heading up the stairs is the first supply box of the mission the silenced tack m so we will go ahead and grab that. Yes, very um, trap-orientated, this section, isn't it? So from here, then, we'll head back to the left through the door. And again, through the left, grab a couple of self-revive kits if you want, but you shouldn't really need them. And then head back through the left. Uh, we're effectively heading back towards the beginning of the uh, sort of area where we came out of. Right before heading down the corridor, we're going to head left. So you can see the open door there on our left. That's what we're going to be going through. And there are no uh, other traps or anything in here, so don't worry about it. If you head left through the next door, and uh, directly in front of us will be the second supply box then, the Snapshot Pulse. Okay, now we're going to be going for a third and a fourth. So continue onwards. And open up the door. Take a left, so we're basically back in the main hallway. It's going to be another, obviously the other couple of enemies are going to be here. But go through the door where it says number five on it. And then we'll just go through the next closed door. Come out of the window. Go through the door. And there's going to be the two pistols here. The one is the Silenced Core 45 and the Dot .50 GS Gamer Score. You don't get any game score for it, but that is what the gun is called. Okay, right then. So, from here, let's go back sort of the way we came. We're going to be getting our first vest armor upgrade of the level. So, this time, what we'll do then, we can actually head up the stairs now. Again, you'll have to be careful because there are, as always, a whole bunch of enemies here. I have cleared them out. So, you shouldn't, um, you know, as to not disturb the guide too much. Uh, but continue on forward. Now, you can see where it says number six there. We're going to go around the uh, main hallway. Go take a right into the laundry-looking room. And right here is the plate carrier vest armor plate carrier upgrade. Or the additional armor slot for short. And then from the additional armor slot for short, we're going to go not the way we came, but more towards the right-hand side of this level. Open up the door. Go out of the window. We're going to go up this ladder, climb up under the boxes, take a left and climb up through this window. Now, these are like little secret areas that you can't get in otherwise. But what you need to do is jump. Have a look down. We're going to jump down. Make sure to deploy your parry. Shoot. And we're going to get the explosive crossbow from this area. And once we've unlocked the door, yep, job done. So there's the explosive crossbow, so make sure to grab that. Now, on the very ground floor of where we are, there are no enemies. So, for some reason, nobody decided to um, base any of their enemies, even though there's only, like, five of us uh, compared to, like, a million of them. So, happy days. So, go around the, uh, sort of sticking with the right-hand side path of the building. And right here, on our right, is the next supply box with the Silenced Expedite. Twelve. And we're going to go ahead and grab the Incendiary MCW from here as well. So, continue on forward, not going up the ladder. Take a right through this open door, and there is the Incendiary. The old Incendiary. Right, so next up, we're going to go and grab a minigun. Cute. So, see that ladder, that slide on the right there? This is the ladder that we need to go up. So, head up there. 
And then we're going to go uh, just continue basically climbing up. Now, what we need to do from here, we need to basically climb up this ladder and give yourself a momentum running jump. And you need to do it basically at the very last second while aiming as high up as you can. That is how you're going to uh, grab that one, because if you're aiming too low, uh, Gaz slash Lewis Hamilton won't grab it. But once you're into this area, deploy your parachute, jump all the way down. There's the supply box then with the mini bum in it. The mini gun, of course, for short. Yeah, of course, of course. So, uh, unlock the door, get yourself out of here, and then basically what we're going to do, we're, this is exactly where we are, we're going to climb back up that same ladder and get up through that same entrance hole. I'm on level six now. You're halfway there, I guess. Going up to the seventh floor. So, once you have done the impossible, check your night vision goggles on. We're going to go up the steps this time. There will be a couple of traps, so head through the door straight in front of us. To the left is where the first trap is going to be, plus the next supply box, which will have the uh, silence cast of 762 in it. So, turn around. And obviously, we're going to head straight out of the door again. This time, we are going to... Yep, from the signs cast off, we're going to take a right. We're going to go continue up the steps. So, up another couple of steps. Again, always just be on the lookout for disabling traps. And it's right at the top of the steps is where we're going to grab two. Plus, there is a third one here, which we are going to need to disable. So, before climbing over here... Yep, so before climbing over there, it's on the left-hand side wall and a very uh, very tricky place there. So make sure that you disable that so, you know, for one, you don't get blown up. And two, you don't alarm everyone and then everyone comes rushing to you and ah, what a pain. But head out to the right-hand side door. Go climb out of the window. Turn your night vision goals off if you wish. Uh, climb over the gap. Go through the next window. And then to the second left, we can actually open up this door. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies in here if you haven't got through this part anyway. But once you're done, take a left, drop down. And there may again be a couple of enemies in this area, so just be careful. Um, yeah, just having a little double check, which they will be by there. Uh, anyway, open up the supply box, which is in this room, which is the silenced MTZ interceptor and the second of the vest armor upgrade. So from here then, what we can do is head back up the ladder... Yeah, there we go. So let's head back up into the room where a whole bunch of enemies were killing us. Go straight through from where we were up that little elevator room out of the window. Go over to the next, uh, jump over the little gap. So jump over to this window here. And then on the right-hand side in this uh, little room is the supply box with the Vel 46 in it. So you should be on um, weapon and items 11 out of 19 right now. So, <clears throat> excuse me, head back the way we came. So into the room, the sort of main room with the elevator and everything like that. Only this time what we're going to do, we're going to head to the left and go around. So not through the elevator room this time, we're going to go around it, head into this room. Uh, you can put your night vision goggies on if you want, but really we're just going to climb up the ladder. Um, really there's no need. And in this room, oh there's a guy. Hello. You bear. Shoot him in his nuts, get him gone, go around the, uh, go into the left of the corner. Around the left of the corner, sorry. In fact, what am I doing? It's in one of these rooms. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I completely missed this room first. But that is where you get the silent striker 9, uh, literally opposite from where the guy was shooting at us. So, head out, head outside, and then you can see the next supply box. So you're going to have to do a bit of a running jump again, parachute if you so wish to as well. But that should be good. There's the next supply box with the RP, uh, the Lab 30 in it, sorry. So that should be 13. Now, from here, what we can do... Um, now, I actually tried to jump across and platform. I, I accidentally dropped down, which is fine. So, make sure to drop down. Get your parachute and drop down. Again, absolutely fine, as long as you've landed here. Because you can either uh, platform your way across, or you can go ahead, drop to where I have, zip line across, up, go forward... And then you can ascend your way up to the very top, which is exactly where we need to go. So you can either platform your way until you get to the ascender, or just drop down and then zip line your way up. So either either way, once you get here, um, try and do a better job of climbing through a window than I did. Uh, we're on to the place where we grab the ascender, so continue down the hallway. 
go around to the left and the door is going to be here. So where it says B, whatever that sign is right there. So head inside, keep walking around and we're going to go through this container, this big swinging container. Now again, there are going to be a whole bunch of enemies in this area. So again, just be careful, just be on the lookout. Um, but effectively, we need to swing across to the other side. And then once we've done that, what we're going to do, we're going to turn directly around to where the swinging container is. And in this room right here, what I'm shooting at, you can see a chair, which was blocking a door, which we couldn't get at before. So shoot that chair. And then we are going to go back in to the swinging container. And obviously, we're going to grab that supply box, which we couldn't grab before, because apparently a little tiny wooden chair is too much to bear for these muscular... Uh, army broskies. So head to the left. Once we get here, left again. And the door should now be open, of course. And the supply box will be right here. This is going to have the RPK in it. So that should be weapon and item 14 out of 19. So again, from here, head out to the right. Uh, oh, hello. Goodbye. Uh, going back out to the swinging container. Because once again, we are going to get to the other side. And again, just keep your eyes out for enemies. They're going to be dotted all around the rooftops and all in windows and stuff. But what we will do is we're going to head up. Now, before going through the building, look on the right and you can see another chair blocking a door. So make sure to shoot that right there. And now uh, we can actually head straight through. There's going to be a whole bunch of enemies again here. So once you've taken care of them, go through, take a left and left again. Watch out for the claymore on the floor. So make sure to hack that. And then on your right is going to be a door that we can open up. Um, and to the right again is going to be a little door where we can go through to get the incendiary Bryson 800 onto 15 out of 19. Right, so from here then we'll go back out into the sort of main room hallway. Again, there will be a couple of enemies in this room. So we'll just continue forward once you've taken care of all of them. Uh, there's uh, the change loadout box right here, so if you head around to the right, the change loadout box is here. So again, make sure that you do change some point part, coint part of your Lloyd oit. There we go. Go into the room on the right and grab the WSP Stinger. Job done. So once you have grabbed the WSP Stinger, let's continue... Uh, let's, so, so let's head out of this um, room, go straight forward where there is an obvious looking, Jesus monkeys, what the hell, you die. Uh, anyway, so we're basically up to the, uh, more or less at the main rooftop, but before heading up the ladder, go to the right, jump across, smash your way through the window, and on your left there is the next supply box, it's going to have the PDSW528, and the only two things left to do are going to be on the rooftop with... Captain Price, Captain, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Captain, yeah, all right, mate, let's do it. See, that's why you never see British chavs in the army, do you? Because nobody would take anyone who talks like this seriously. Come on in, boys. Shoot the man, boys. Anyway, uh, once you've shot a couple of people down, drop down to the rooftop. Immediately on your right is the anti-armor rounds. And then where Captain Price is shooting, there's the next and last supply box of the level. The ISO Hemlock. So, whew, got through that one. That one, uh, yeah, that one took a while to figure out. Anyway, on to the next level. Once you've completed that, we're on to level 10, the Frozen Tundra. Uh, we're going to grab the one Snow Angel achievement uh, for taking down uh, a sniper. And this is basically early on, so after you've gone underneath the water and you've got yourself up, you're going to get ambushed by these broskies. After you've done that then, with General General Shepard, uh, just continue up the frozen lake. Now, you can't actually stealth your way through this guy because he's always going to shoot at you no matter what. He knows where you are. Um, and you can't use your thermal gun to stealth him out. So what you've got to do is just sort of walk around. And until you can sort of see him either moving around or see where the gunshots are coming from. There he is. So once you've once you've noticed him, he will start running about. Uh, so again, try not to get shot because, you know, sniper hurts and everything. Now, what you need to do then, when you get close to him, you need to wait until the uh, RS takedown appears. Now, it appears for me a couple of times. Uh, but for some reason, I, 
then told me that I wasn't close enough, which is just annoying. So we were just basically in a butting match with each other. But eventually, uh, you hit him in the nuts, um, and then you can shoot him in the nuts as well. This is for shooting at me, you stupid... Oh, God damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fellas. I'm really sorry, guys. I really didn't mean to do that one. So, once you have nipped through the Frozen Tundra level, we will be on 11, level 11, the Gorodan. Now, immediately, when you get into the level, if you've um, changed your loadout in previous missions, it will immediately unlock for us straight away here. The dialed-in achievement. So, that worked out very well, very handy for us. Now, we're going to be doing a couple of things straight away here. So, the first thing we're going to do... Take a look to your right to see a bend in the road. And we're going to parachute down there. So what we're going to do, we need to defuse the bomb while the truck is moving. So uh, once you've parachuted your way down, you can see the truck already moving. So try and get onto the back of the truck if you can. Now, I actually almost just about fail. Um, but you can actually still jump on and you can still defuse the bomb. As long as you defuse it while the truck is moving, um, you will unlock the hitchhiker achievement right there. Um, and obviously, there's going to be a bunch of guys that are going to take a little looky-loo at us as well. Um, now, I will actually go ahead and restart the mission, just so that it's a bit more sort of fresh, even though I probably didn't need to. But anyway, uh, once you have restarted it anyway, what we're going to do now is we are going to go and get the achievement for destroying an airborne enemy helicopter with a mortar strike. Now, this is definitely the easiest level to do this in, because there is a point where the enemy just doesn't move. So we can head to the right. Oh, in fact, there's a reason I restarted the level. So on the right here is a supply box, which we'll come back to later. More importantly, though, it is a mortar strike that we're grabbing. So once you have grabbed the mortar strike, you can actually just head down now. We're going to defuse the first two bombs anyway, and kill a whole bunch of enemies for the heli helicopter to appear. So, once you have defused this, go ahead and take care of the enemies in this area. The next bomb that we're going to go for is actually to the uh, left. Make sure that you get rid of the trap as well. Head through this hallway where you're going to see another couple of enemies. And here is the next bomb. So, that's the second one out of four defused. So, from here then, what you can do is we will head through this hallway again. We're just going to go on a bit of a killing spree now. Again, this is the last combat mission as well, the open combat mission. So after we do this, we will be um, getting a whole other bunch of achievements as well for completing the weapons and items and everything. So, go ahead, shoot the hell out of everyone for the time being. And if you're very satisfied that everyone in this level is done... Ah, yeah, yeah. So we'll head to the right from where we came out of that hallway... And there's going to be a staircase that we are going to go down. And it's this staircase which is going to be directly in front of us. So again, again, just go on a killing spree here. And then eventually, Laswell is going to say that an enemy helicopter is inbound. Yeah, <laughs> Right, so once we have this uh, message, what we need to do is head back up that staircase, the same staircase that we went down. Um, again, try not to die. Now, the helicopter will always stay in this position for a good minute or so. So get your precision airstrike immediately out, your mortar strike. Uh, use it, again, right on the D-pad. Use it on the helicopter. That should then rain down a hell storm of fire. And that is how you... Well, that's one way to do it. Do it again, girl, baby. That's one way to do it. Okay, and that's the only miscellaneous achievements on this level. So, we can now... Now, what I was going to do, I was going to restart the level, but if you've already gone through this whole point of killing a whole bunch of enemies, 
it's actually easier just to do it straight from here. So nay worries about that. Because we're in the right place to do it. So once we've done that then and all the enemies are taken care of, what we're going to do is head for this building, um, so basically on the sort of main road thing right here. And the reason we're doing that is there is another Ask Kenda here. So open up the doors. The Ascender is straight in front of us. And plus we're going to go ahead while we're here. Uh, 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 grab the supply box and the incendiary RAL MG is in it. Now what we can do is actually head out as we get out of here, head to the left and go towards back towards that radio tower. So we can actually obviously ascend it, which, you know, makes all the sense in the world. So up we go. We're going to ascend it and we're going to grab the M My Chemical Pooty Romance, the MCPR 300. My Chemical Romance. Ah, oh, man, just the emo days come flooding back to us. Huh? Okay, once we've done this then, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back past that building where we found the Ascender and the Incendiary Ral. Um, so again, whap your parachute out from here, and then what we're going to do, go past that building, and we are going to head... Oh, I did try making it. There's a little building up this dirt path, dirt path road that we are going to uh, climb on top of. Pretty obvious where it is. It's sort of just on its own. But what you're going to do, you're going to climb up. And the Silence Striker is going to be right here as well. Plus a cruise missile if needed. Uh, but once you've taken care of a couple of the enemies, if there are any about, which there obviously was for me, we can head back down. And we're just going to effectively go in a straight line back to the staircase where we destroyed that helicopter. So once we are back at this staircase, head up, we're going to climb through, or sort of crouch through even, this little window. And there's going to be three weapons that we're actually going to grab here, which is very nice. So straight in front of us, and head down to the right there is the Silenced Expedite 12. Just to the left of that is the Peeler Rocket Launcher. And to just to the left of that is the Signal 50. So you should already be on 6 now out of 21. Right, so from here then, go back, uh, sort of down the way we came. There's there's the change loadout uh, box if you want to change your loadout for whatever reason. So head down, head right up the steps. Again, there may be an enemy or two up here, so just be careful. Uh, head all the way down to the end of the hallway where we will find the snapshot pulse. So head left up these couple of steps and the supply box with the snapshot pulse is right there. Okay, so from here then, we're going to go out of the exit of this door. Take a left. And then sort of left again. And then we're going to climb up the steps. So continue going up the steps. We're going to head up the ladder. Now, there's two items which we're going to grab on the roof. The first one we'll grab, since we're closest to it, is go left. Down the steps, go left. And it's going to be the heartbeat sensor. And then from here, what we're going to do is head... Hey, you can snipe your own balls off, dude. Go away. So, we're basically going to go to the opposite side of the helipad now. And you, I'll just shoot you as well. Thank you very much. So, go into the opposite side where we just shot that last enemy. And the supply box with the silenced 556 yeah, Icarus. Icaramba will be right there. So, that's happy days. So, that's job done. Okay, so from here then, we are going to basically go to the rooftop where we effectively more or less first started. So, head on to the main part of this helipad. As you can see, we can see the zip wire. That's what we're aiming for. So, zip line your way across. Go to the left. Again, this is where we got the precision airstrike earlier on. Uh, this time, we are grabbing the Fennec 45. So there we go, that's the Fennec 45, so once we have grabbed that, you've really filled your ammo or whatever. Now what we're going to do is drop down, and now we're going to go to the hallway where we defused the second bomb a little bit earlier on. Look at this guy! <laughs> He's like, where are you? <laughs> Man, what a surprise. Ooh, what a surprise. So head through the hallway, again, we would have already shot the enemies if, as long as you didn't restart the level. There's the second bomb. This time, though, we will continue straight down, head to the left at the end of the hallway to find a plate carrier vest upgrade. 
And to the left of that is the supply box then with the silenced rifle 9 in it. Okay, so from here, let's just do some real loading. And then head out of this area. Oh, ha, you sneaky butt. I seen you. I seen you, stupid Claymore. You cannot fool me after I almost blew my ankles off twice. So this time we are going to head uh, effectively down. So that's what we're going to do. So head straight down here. And the supply box is going to be as immediately right underneath us as we drop. This is going to have the anti-armor rounds in it. So we should already be on 12 out of 21. Now... As we progress through this big road, there are obviously going to be a whole bunch of enemies. So, uh, again, this may take you a couple of minutes just to dispatch some of the enemies. Um, but you're not going to miss anything here. We're basically going until we reach the end of this road. Uh -huh. You lose! Uh, so, again, if we start just from the car, again, right there, we will head all the way to the end. Yeah, maybe an enemy or two, but what we're going to do to the left... Just beneath, uh, just to the left of us right there, right in the bo uh, bottom corner is the KVD, the Kevin De Bruyne Enforcer, the Manchester City midfielder, and I hate Manchester City with all my life. Uh, anyway, uh, as I almost just explode myself, that's me being a Man United fan, by the way. So what we can do, we can actually pick up the last and final plate carrier up upgrade, that will get you the bulletproof achievement. And then you can just continue heading forward. There will be a sniper. Look at him. He's like, right, uh, sorry guys, I'm coming. Oh, damn it, I died. <laughs> anyway, once you've taken care of him, continue heading forward. We, and there's going to be a lorry or, you know, a truck, whatever you want to call it, right at the back of this little area. There it is. And then once we get into said lorry, there is going to be the armor box. And the RGL-80 in it. There's another vest carrier upgrade if you wanted to right there. So there's the RGL-80 and also the armor box as well. Don't need the cast off really. So what we'll do, we'll drop down and we're going to go straight up the ascender. There are enemies here, but we're just going to go straight up the ascender. And we are going to get this next supply box, which should be on the roof directly in front of us there. The silenced M16. So, once again then, once you have gotten rid of all of the enemies, we're going to take a left, we're going to jump off the roof into what looks like a checkpoint. These little checkpoint buildings. Here is the first one there, the supply box. This will have the munitions box. Now, if you're a stoner, you probably read that as munchies box, which I don't blame you, because I did every time, and I'm not even a stoner. Uh, now, if we head effectively across to the other side, to the other little checkpoint building, there's going to be another two supply boxes in here. The Recon Drone and the Hybrid 556 MTZ, or MTZ 556, whichever, whatever. I don't care because we're going to get achievements forever. You'll be there, you'll be here. And right, let's go into a secret island. So heading through, we're going to have to go through some muddy waters. You can see what you're looking at on the right, uh, the big old damn waterfall. Because, you know, it is Gora Dam after all. What we need to do is continue forward a little bit, head onto this little secret island where we're going to get the final armament, the chopper gunner. So make sure once we have used that then, it's actually, this does, definitely the rarest one in the game and it definitely does come in handy. But once you have used it, you should then get the no such thing as too many achievement. And then bam, 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 once you've run out of fuel and you've killed everyone that you've wanted to kill... We will then go ahead and grab the final two weapons and items in the game. Oora! Oora! One for one. We done it. So swim across to where the truck is, and then immediately in front of us is actually going to be where the supply box is. The Holger 26 just sounds like a Swedish gun. Who Holger? Make sure to get the gun. Yeah. Sorry, was that just a real bad attempt at Swedish? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Anyway, from the uh, last bit, we're going to go left up this uh, sort of path. We're going to take a left to where this white car is and go around to the right side of the building where we're going to climb up some steps. Go in through the door, take the next door on the right and then the next door on the right, go through that again. Take a right again, climb up these boxes and this is where we're going to grab the final 
the silenced EBR14. So if you have been following along with the entire video, this is where you should get the gearhead achievement. Which, I mean, that is as rare and beautiful as they come, which we like. Yeah! Woohoo! Anyway, coming up now to the final miscellaneous achievement, really. This is on the next level, Danger Close. Uh, so, you, what you'll need to do, there's your enemy, uh, there's your uh, guys on the ground. And then what we can do is, to the bottom right corner of the map, you can see just one guy walking alone by himself. Now, to change the weapons, press the Y button until you go to Missile. There you go, so keep pressing Y until you hit missile, then go ahead and use that missile on that one single enemy, and that will get the Your Tax Dollars at Work achievement. And then, well, that's pretty much it now for the mis miscellaneous ones as well, so you just carry on with this level. There's one more level after this, where the unfortunate happens, um, and then basically once you get to this cutscene, this is the end of the game, and if you've done these sort of veteran tricks, Earlier on, you'll get the veteran, um, the, the achievement for completing it on veteran mode and uh, completing the game. So, thank you so, so much for watching there, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Check out my uh, true crime gaming podcast, Gaming's Darker Side, and I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love!